Mastering Relative Clauses Restrictive and Non-Restrictive Clauses Unleashed Hello Language Learners! Welcome back to our English Language Learning Series. Today we are delving into the heart of intermediate grammar, exploring a critical aspect of English sentences, relative clauses. More specifically, we will focus on restrictive and non-restrictive relative clauses. Get ready to learn, practice, and master these clauses. To kick things off, let's quickly review what relative clauses are. These are types of dependent clauses that provide additional information about a noun or pronoun in the sentence. They are introduced by relative pronouns like who, which, that, and whose. A relative clause functions much like an adjective, adding detail to the sentence. Now let's dive deeper. There are two types of relative clauses, restrictive or defining, and non-restrictive or non-defining. Restrictive relative clauses are essential to the meaning of a sentence. If you remove them, the sentence will lose vital information. They do not require commas. Example, the book that I bought yesterday is fascinating. Here, that I bought yesterday is a restrictive clause identifying which book we're talking about. In contrast, non-restrictive relative clauses add extra information, but the sentence still makes sense without them. These clauses should be set off by commas. Example, my car, which is red, needs a wash. Here, which is red, is a non-restrictive clause offering additional information about the car. It's time for some practice. We'll go through a series of sentences, and your task is to identify whether each sentence has a restrictive or a non-restrictive relative clause. After that, we'll work on editing and correcting these clauses. 1. The house that Jack built is beautiful. 2. Mrs. Smith, who lives next door, is a teacher. 3. The clothes which were dirty are in the laundry basket. Pause the video and try to solve these on your own. Then, hit play and let's discuss the answers. Let's go over the corrections now. 1. The house that Jack built is beautiful. This is a restrictive clause. Removing it would make it unclear which house we're referring to. 2. Mrs. Smith, who lives next door, is a teacher. This is a non-restrictive clause. Even if we remove who lives next door, the sentence still makes sense. 3. The clothes which were dirty are in the laundry basket. This is a restrictive clause. Without it, we wouldn't know which clothes are in the basket. Well done, everyone. That wraps up our lesson on restrictive and non-restrictive relative clauses. We hope this has shed some light on this critical aspect of English grammar. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't stop here. Keep applying these rules in your everyday English usage, and before you know it, you'll be mastering relative clauses like a pro. See you in the next video.